Hey guys, Mitch Milligan. Here we are with second through third grade art lesson for e-learning. What I have for you guys is a project for comic book making. And uh, what you need is a paper, a pencil, and a pair of scissors. Give me one sec. Paper, pencil, and a pair of scissors. Most of you guys have seen this book already, but I just want to show you guys again. I did this on 2013. This is Thor. It's really cool. Uh, over here, this next page, we got two things. We got Wolverine, Hawkeye, two very iconic comic book characters. Um, we got some more over here. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm just gonna flip through them so you guys can see. Guardians of the Galaxy, Superman, Superman. Not done. Um, a lot of people are wondering, Mr. Mill, why do you use colored pencils to sketch out your design first? Um, the answer to that is when you're scanning it onto a computer using a large scanner, uh, you can set it so, or in the computer program, you can set it so, um, please only pick up the grayscale of, um, of, of, uh, of shading or coloring and you can kind of like minus something. So if you want to like minus a red or minus a blue, kind of like, uh, kind of like how green screens work, you can kind of like minus, uh, one of the colors that you use. So, uh, red's really popular and blue's really popular as well. That's why, uh, this blue line art, uh, kind of comic book issue touch paper is in blue because you can like subtract it from uh, where you scan. Over here we got Toothless, Stitch. Over here we have uh, Pikachu and Stitch doing handstands. Really cool. There's a glare. Sorry. We got Disney World Castle. We got a T-Rex. Don't know what he's doing. It's been so long, guys. I apologize. World of Warcraft, somewhat still into it. So there's that. Uh, Boba Fett. More World of Warcraft. I was in this like uh, interior decorating phase. When it comes to drawing, I thought it was really interesting. Sonic, Hedgehog, and Tails. This is gonna be a library. I'm not sure if you guys can go oh, this way. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. The reason why I keep turning around is because the computer is like uh, monitoring this camera, so uh, so I can see what I'm showing you guys. Over here we have Hogwarts. Uh, it's unfinished at the moment because I did give the original to someone else, and um, so I'm redoing it again. And then Harry Potter, obviously. This is the Weasley house over here, kind of cool. And Hogwarts, the bridge, Gringotts, Bank. And you guys probably know where this is. This is Diagon Alley. And over here we have Hogsmeade, really cool. This space off the park. You can see, you guys can take a little quick look and kind of tell where everything is. Like there's a candy store, there's that, that uh, three broomstick restaurant, there's the bathrooms. Just a quick preview of what I used to do, or one what I wanted to do. Uh, never got into anything bigger than that. So. We're doing comics today, and I want to show you guys how to build them first. Again, you need a piece of paper, pencil if you want to draw later, got my pencil, and I got a pair of scissors. Step number one, you're going to fold the paper in half. Here we go. Just like so. You want to try to be as precise as you can. If you're off a little bit, just like how I am, that's okay. So now, paper's folded in half like a book. What you're going to do is you're going to fold the front cover, so hold it like a card. Hold the front cover, take one piece of paper so you notice how the other piece of paper is right there. Hold this half towards the spine, just like this. And then flip it over. Now there's the back of the card. Think of it that way. And then fold that back half to the spine as well. You want to open it back up. Okay. So it doesn't matter which way you hold it. If you want to hold it this way, or hold it this way, it doesn't matter. Um, my preference, I like to hold it so there's like a little mountain on the middle part. And then the two line or two creases on the sides are kind of like going inwards like that. That's just my preference, but it doesn't matter. You can do either this way or this way. Both sides work. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna take this flat sheet of paper, I'm gonna fold it long ways, you're gonna open it up just like this, and fold it like the first fold we just did. You can follow the crease that you did before. So again, fold like a card, normal card like this, and then you already have the creases all done already. So next step where there's a crease you're not going to cut where the opening is you're going to cut where the crease is so i'm going to turn my paper like this i'm going to take my pair of scissors cut from that crease and where that fold is just like this i'm going to stop where those creases intersect what you're going to do you're going to open it up and you see kind of like a mouth going on you guys see that mouth whoop, whoop. all right here comes the fun part what you're going to do you're going to rotate your piece of paper so it's like long ways like a letter just like that now I want you guys to hold the paper so there's a mountain in the middle of the paper like this to pinch both sides so the mountain comes up like that. Once you're holding it like this, so hold this side, hold this side, come up like that. 
Okay, I'll do it again. So letter, pinch like this, curve up like that. And you're just gonna push these ones together like this, and then fold that last half back. What you just did, you created a six page miniature booklet. That's a wallet size. So the reason why I say, I used to say that I use this all the time is because it's a great way to carry groceries, <laughs> grocery lists in your wallet. And uh, it's like the perfect size. And also with this, it's six pages. So if you can count them, cover one, two, three, four, five, six, and a back cover. Look how awesome this is. And that was just done with one piece, piece of paper. Uh, no stapling, no gluing, no taping, no nothing. It was just folding. I thought it was really cool. So is I want you guys to make a comic book using the front and then all six pages and then the side. So I want to inspire you guys of what you guys could do. Uh, now these are the traditional comic books that you guys always see. Um, they, they're very rare nowadays. People don't really make comic books like this anymore. Uh, it's sometimes a subscription based nowadays and uh, they come like this. I used to collect them a lot and um, they're quite interesting. The reason why I'm not opening it is because there's going to be another version that I have to show you guys. This is a graphic novel. Graphic novels are basically uh, four or five or even six uh, comic books combined together and uh, published under one uh, kind of like a hardcover spine or like a like a, a bigger collection so that's why they look like this so graphic novels if you guys did not know they're just basically uh, multiple comic books in one and uh, they're very creative with how comic books work sometimes they have the cells so you can kind of draw rectangles or squares to illustrate your point and to uh, create a storyboard uh, some people use an entire page like this. Uh, sometimes they uh, utilize the space. Sometimes like, they put uh, squares or rectangles inside a bigger uh, picture. Uh, sometimes they create uh, these dynamic angles like uh, diagonals to create more uh, of a, a much more emotion. Sometimes they change the, uh, the font of the lettering. So you can kind of do that. So this is graphic novel. It's just a smaller version. So this is by my favorite artist, Scotty Young. He is an Illinois resident. I like how portable it is. It's really small. And I figured if you guys have a smaller one, it's more than travel size and you can make tons of these. So this is one sheet of paper. So if you have like 20 sheets of paper, you make 20 comic books. The other one I picked up from one of my friends. Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, so this art style is a little more simple. And the reason why I point this out is because sometimes you can use a whole page. You don't need cells for it. So you don't need to draw rectangles or anything. You, can, you don't need to draw uh, circles or squares. You can kind of just draw on the outside if you like. So this is really cool as well. My favorite type of comic book is the classic comic strips. It's not Tiger King, but it is Calvin Hobbes. Uh, a lot of his uh, books were either non-colored or colored. This guy's so awesome. He used ballpoint. He used like a lot of watercolor styles and I just liked his work a lot. Uh, the last one I have to show you is this one by Scott C. So I really like this comic book because this it's just one single image and it displays a whole story. So this one says pop cultures. Uh, this is obviously Daft Punk, uh, really cool. Uh, this one right here is <laughs> the A-Team. I don't know what that is probably. Uh, David Bowie, it's all David Bowie. Anyway, it's more my style, I like it a lot. Voltron, you guys probably don't know what that is, but I do. So what I want second grade and third grade to do, make a little pamphlet for this little booklet and make a comic book out of it. Okay. Once you make a comic book, keep them, show them to me if you want. Um, these are really cool. And uh, what the cool thing about this is, is that if you go like this, check this out. So cover, cover, I'm going to show you guys something real cool with this. One, two, three, four, can you guys see this? Five, six, and then a back cover. All right, so I wrote on every single page, right? Can you see that? Three, four, five, six, back cover. Check this out. If you take this apart, so I just unfolded my comic book strip, just like that. Now, all I have to do is flip it over and redo my folds the opposite direction. Check this out. I'm not sure if it's gonna be useful for you guys, but I thought it was pretty cool. If you just reverse the folds, like this, look what just happened. You got a brand new comic book off of one piece of paper. So if you want, you can kind of make a comic book and then make a hidden one in the inside. You just gotta have to tell them to refold it. So I thought that was pretty neat. So that's what I want you guys to do. 
let me see what you guys come up with and uh, maybe i'll make one too i don't know i've been bu pretty busy with baby carter but uh anyways that's all for now if you guys want to see the previous video which is k to one you guys can take a look at that i don't see why second burger can't do it or if you guys want more of a challenge uh it's not really that much of a challenge it's actually pretty easy uh 425th is doing something different you guys will check out that video you guys can too anyways see you guys next time